This quick video will assist you with hyperlinks. Let's get started. You can see on my screen I have an example at the top, and I'm in the Blackboard Learning Management System. I have added an item, and in that item I have two links. Now, my links are not placed in there properly, but I placed two links in there because I wanted to share with you the difference between the two links. So I'm going to click the first link, which says it's going to bring me to Microsoft Office Online. When I click the link, you can see I'm still in the Blackboard LMS, and I've got to click again in order to get to my link. That link does not open in a new window. I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on my second link. When I click on my second link, it takes me, in fact, out to a new window or a new tab so that I can get to the link I'm trying to gain access to. So this is what I want to talk to you about. I'm going to close this link and go back to Blackboard. There are two ways for you to add your link in there, and I'd like to share with you the proper way. I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to go to my example, and I'm going to choose to edit this. I'm going to share with you why one works properly and the other one does not. You have probably learned in the past, if you're going to add a URL into your course, you first need to give it an introduction. Why? Well, because if someone's using a reader, they need to know where they're going and why. So in this example, I'm going to say, click the following link to access the, the Microsoft Office There we go. Click the following link to access the Microsoft Office login site and download your free Office software. Then I'm going to put my link in there. And I've already saved my link because I've been preparing for this video. So I'm going to do a Control V to paste it in, Control Velcro, Control Victor, however you want to remember it. Now, typically, if I'm in Word or other Microsoft softwares, if I hit the space bar, that will turn blue. It did not happen. So, in Blackboard, what you'll often find yourself doing is you'll select your URL, you'll come up here to your Insert Edit Link button, you click there, and you will paste it again into the top area, and then you say Insert, and then many of you will follow up with Opens in a New Window. Alright, there's where I went wrong. I didn't follow all my steps properly. I told it it's going to open in a new window by typing the words, but that doesn't actually follow through with the steps. So just to prove it to you, I'm going to submit this. Now I'm going to click on the link that I just typed in there. And it brings me back in. I'm still in the Blackboard Learning Management System. So I've done something wrong. Well, actually, I haven't done anything wrong. I just didn't complete the steps properly. I'm going to hit the back arrow. I'm going to come back into this example. I'm going to edit it, and we're going to do it properly. How does that sound? OK. So. Anytime I add my URL in there, I definitely need all of this information here. I'm just going to recopy this because I want to leave the old stuff in there just so you can see it. And I'm going to paste it down here again. Control C for copy, Control V to Velcro. All right, now here we go. I've got this URL and it is linked out, but it's not linked out properly. So I'm going to select it again. I'm going to go back into my hyperlink button. I already have the URL up there, and that's what I did before, but I missed the second step. There's two steps when you're in this window. First, you need to make sure your URL is there and that it's proper. The second step is to go where it says Target, and you need to physically tell it, open in a new window blank. There we go. That's going to fix our issue. I select Update, and let's submit this and check it out. All right, I think we're going to have a drum roll here because now I'm going to click on this one that I just redid, select it, and guess what? Voila! It actually does open in a new window. So just because you type the words opens in a new window does not mean it opens in a new window. Let's look at that step one more time. I'll build content, add an item, type my topic. Link to login. 
I'll come down here and I'll give my introduction to my link. Click this link to download, let's say to log in and download your Microsoft Office software. I'm going to place my URL in there. Oh, I have way too much. Let's take that out. Let's take this out. There we go. I've got my URL. Select it again. Go up to my URL button. Make sure it's hyperlinked by making sure I've got the proper URL in the top. And then I want to select this. Oops, undefined, not clear. Here we go. I want to select this down arrow and tell it to open in a new window blank. That's the important part. Open in a new window blank. All right. I put way too much text up here and it did not like it. I got a little ahead of myself. Okay, we've got just the URL up there. We've got our URL at the top. We said open in a new window blank. We've got it. We are good to go. So if I were to submit this and then, oops, I forgot to type the text in there. Opens in a new window blank, right? But here I go. Here it is. Click this link to log in and download your software. When I click there, it most certainly does open in a new window. And just so that I can feel like I'm leaving you on the most proper note that I can, I'm going to come back in here, edit this item, and I'm going to type the text in that's required to be there that says open in a new window. And so now I've done everything I need in order to make a hyperlink work properly. Ooh. This is great. I'm glad it's doing this. It brought the hyperlink over to the text opens in a new window. This is an awesome learning moment because I do not want that hyperlinked. So I will select that text there and then I'm going to come up here to the break hyperlink button. Break the hyperlink there. The only thing I want linked is simply my URL. So now I have completed everything properly. I give it an introduction. I release my URL. I type the text opens in a new window. And in fact, my URL is sat so that when I look into the edit mode of it, it's got my URL at the top. And for my target, it says opens in a new window blank and it will for sure open in a new window. I hope this helps you as you're working with hyperlinks. Good luck.